Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. Today I have another plan with me, and it is using um, Top, wait, what is it called? Oh, Scare School. I don't know, I think I was just reading Top Scare. Scare School, and this art came out back in the fall time from Kittenish Girl Jess, and it's a kit from Scribble Prince Co., but I did not purchase it then. I thought about it, sat on it, watched everybody else use it and their spreads turned out gorgeous. Then I decided not to get it just because I felt like it was a little college-y. I don't know, but I still really loved it. And then um, Scribble Prince D Co. did their um, Misfit, not grab bags, Misfit Random Pull. And I actually got this in my Misfit Random Pull. So I'm not sure if you've seen that in a haul yet or not because I'm not sure when that's going up but yeah I'm really really excited to actually get to use this kit because I am remote teaching and we are going back to school in a couple weeks so I needed to use this pretty soon while we are still kind of like at home and this week kind of starts our like um, we have just a ton of meetings as we try to plan for back to school and um, it's our first day of conferences. So I thought it would be just a really good spread for just kind of our last full week back to school and before February and all the Valentine's Day spreads hit my planner. So yeah, I just wanted to talk through. So it's a full mini kit. I honestly don't see any misfits yet. Maybe when I lay it down, I will, but I love the vibrant colors. I love the blues and the purples. I feel like it's very true to January and winter. So it, I feel like this kit is still very in place. And is that a thing in place? That doesn't make sense. I added some glitter headers that I feel like match pretty dang good. And this is from a glitter header grab bag from Glam Planner. Then last year's Girlfriends Co. did a Misfit foil random pull. And I got this really pretty blue color. I have no idea what color it is, but it's like, oh yeah, it was picking up sparkly blue and it matches pretty good. So I just have some random leftovers because I used a lot in a frozen spread I used last year and um, just some other random spreads. So I'll see what I can pull from here. Otherwise I'll use some uh, silver foil or I think I might just kind of keep it with just black. And then I got these random headers from a stash from Lauren Plans and they're from Print VI or is that supposed to be Roman numerals like Print 6? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I've never shopped from the shop before but I liked the bright green so I might pull this into my sidebar just a little bit. Otherwise let's just get right into it. So I will now put you in fast forward mode. Okay, everyone, I fast forwarded this, um, like me laying down the base to be pretty fast just because sometimes it's nice to have some quick plan with me videos. I don't know. I'm just curious to know your thoughts. Sometimes I'll do it in like the fast forward speed, like two times faster. This is four times faster. Do you like shorter videos? Do you like longer? I don't know. I'm curious to know. So let me know your thoughts down below in a comment um yeah because I'm happy to do either I'm kind of playing around I got a new phone and it doesn't I typically just edit all my videos on like I film all my videos on my phone and I edit on iMovie and like on my phone and then I upload it to my computer to upload to YouTube anyways <laughs> Um, since getting my new phone, it doesn't let me do the whole upload to my computer thing. It keeps on marking my videos as locked or like, not cryptic videos. That sounds really like dark, but, um, I don't know. It just says that they don't work. So long story long, that's a phrase my husband always likes to say. It's not long story short. It's always long story long. <laughs> um, I'm just curious to know. I'm just playing around with editing on my computer now so I can fast forward faster. Okay, I just have a couple minutes left and I thought it'd be fun to just do some question and answers instead of doing adding any music or anything like that. 
since we only have a few minutes and yeah haven't done a question and answer video in a really long time so if you ever have any questions for me just leave them down in the comment section below I am willing to answer anything and I always love hearing the questions people come up with whenever other people say like ask me a question I always blank and I feel like I can't think of anything but some people are really creative with their questions anyways this is just a random like funny questions thing I found on Pinterest so I'll go through a couple and maybe I'll keep it up and answer a couple questions each week but um, let's see the first one says what is your biggest kitchen fail and I feel like one of my biggest kitchen fails is um, I decided to make a spaghetti sauce. My husband, he has a lot of dietary restrictions for health stuff right now, and he was on kind of a really weird um, dietary plan at the time, so we are cutting out a lot of things, but his favorite food is spaghetti, so I was like, I am going to make spaghetti sauce homemade, and it's going to have like every, like things he can have and all this stuff. And I went to go put like my immersion blender, which is like a little blender in a pot, like the sauce pan. But it, I don't know what I was thinking. It was like a saucepan, not like an actual pot. So there was like no borders on the pot. And then I stuck this immersion blender in. I literally, I'm cringing at the thought that I attempted this and it splattered everywhere it looked like a murder scene because it was red sauce just everywhere and the place we we're at had like all white walls white stove top white counters everything so it was just it was so so bad I I realized it obviously right away but the damage was already done it was it was such a fail Anyways, so I do have a good answer for that one. Number two, have you ever sent a text message to the wrong person? Yes, many times. I'm not as techie as I should be. I'm not that it's not that I'm not techie, but I have random times that I'm like super techie and then random times where I'm like, Ugh, that was I can't believe I just accidentally did that. Um yeah. What is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you at school? The first thing that's popping into my head, I've done a lot of embarrassing things, but first thing that's popping into my head is one time we were playing dodgeball in middle school and I accidentally hit <laughs> my PE teacher who was like this older guy, family friend, and I accidentally somehow like hit him in the butt and it was so awkward. <laughs> and he just like called me out and everybody was laughing and making fun of me so good times that was definitely really embarrassing especially for as a middle schooler and I don't know how off I was on my aiming I don't know if he was walking and that's what happened or what okay I have time for one more and what is one thing you refuse to share my ice cream I love my ice cream and my husband and I each get our own, and I don't touch his. He does not touch mine, and that's kind of the rules. So those are the only questions I'm going to answer for now. Like I said, if you have any other questions, let me know down below, and let me know if you like the speed of this or kind of just any thoughts you have. I'm always curious, and I always love seeing your comments and responding to them. If you don't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is Jen Joy Plans on Instagram, and I post there several times a week and always love to chat on there as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you the end of the week.